getting water to your garden and to your livestock can be a real challenge in this homesteading life, especially depending on where you live. Today we have a really cool guest coming out. His name is Seth, and I would say he's an expert on ram pumps. He makes ram pumps. Today you're going to learn, if you don't know, what a ram pump is, and hopefully learn a lot else. I've watched his videos on YouTube. His channel's called Land to House, and I'll put a link in the description. You should definitely check it out. I'd watched his YouTube videos, and I had no idea that he was in Western North Carolina. We found out that he actually lived in our part of the state, and so we're getting together today. This is Seth, welcome. It's nice to be here. Yep, thanks for coming out. We're just taking a little peek around our place and showing off what there is to show off. This creek is kind of semi-seasonal. It's it's had some trickle like all the way through all the way through every year, but it by the end of the summer when it's real dry it gets down to there's with patches with nothing running. A quick glance here, I'd say you yeah. have somewhere around you know, five to ten gallons per minute. Yeah. And this is kind of medium flow yeah. for the creek. Sometimes it's a lot higher, but you came out here in part to talk to us about ramp pumps. First, tell us what is land to house? Well, uh, land to house is a couple things. Mm -hmm. um, I first started when I bought my property. Mm -hmm. I thought, wouldn't it be awesome to have a YouTube channel that was everything I do mm -hmm. from you know, moving in to, to whenever I decide to stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so uh, I searched around forever to find the name and land a house it seemed like it would hold everything I'd want to do. That's cool. I had a, a small garden uh -huh. and I was carrying 55 gallon buckets up the hill yep. and dumping me in the garden and I thought there's got to be a better way. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where that uh, cool. idea came from. I like it. So did you use a ram pump early on on your property? Yeah. I did. Yeah. Um, it looked a lot different than this one. Uh -huh. <laughs> I uh, did not really know the concept at the time mm -hmm. and so it took probably five or six different uh, models before I found one that really worked well. That's cool. So, whenever you're feeding a ram pump, there can be no air in the system. So, for intakes, it's very important to have a completely submerged intake. If you go, so for example, yeah. this um, waterfall right here coming yeah. off of this spot, it would be plenty deep enough. enough. Deep is that. Um, so I, this is I kind of ironic because I meant to um, study up on ram pumps before you came over, but I didn't study up on ram pumps. So I actually <laughs> don't know what a ram pump is. I know exactly what a ram pump does in function, but what? How does it? What is a ram pump? So, uh, in other words, you're looking for ram pumps 101. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the ram pump is a means of pumping water. Mm -hmm. um, from a creek. Mm -hmm. They work on head pressure mm -hmm. or hydrostatic pressure. Mm -hmm. So let's say you put a pipe in the creek, it's coming down and there's a certain amount of drop. Mm -hmm. And that drop is your head pressure. Yep. So the more head pressure you have, the greater potential you have of pumping water vertically. Yeah. You're gonna be creating a pressure wave. Mm -hmm. So water's coming down that drive pipe mm -hmm. and it's gonna hit this valve first. Mm -hmm. You can hear it pop there. Uh -huh. The water is going to hit that valve and pop it closed. Mm -hmm. As soon as that happens, it creates a pressure wave. Water is shot back up the drive pipe, mm -hmm. but also goes into this secondary valve here. So water is pushed into here, mm -hmm. hits this big wall <coughs> of water going uphill or a pressure tank, and so it's going to close there. Mm -hmm. Well. When the wave went back up the drive pipe, it created a negative here. So this valve falls back open again. Uh -huh. It's waiting for the water to come back downhill. Okay. And so it's a constant, you can actually hear it pop, 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 pop. Yep. Um, so your ratio of head pressure coming down to lift potential out mm -hmm. is about one to seven, sometimes one to eight, depending on uh, the rigidity of the drive pipe. So basically you can push water a lot higher than the water is falling into in your creek. So. Yep. What we're going to do now is use this hose that's siphoning from really the top of where I would ever put a hose, up near our upper property line there. 
and just see how much drop we have in this line. So the way we're gonna measure how much drop we have in this line is I'm gonna take the end of this hose as high as I can or up to the point where the water stops flowing or try to. I'm off camera already. So somewhere right up in here, the water is stopping right about there. That's 12, somewhere 12-ish feet, somewhere in there. Usually 12 to 15. Yeah. So that means we can push, we can push water well above the top of our garden if we were to use that whole, um, that whole 150 foot section of creek. Where's the, um, so where's, I don't see like an electrical line coming <laughs> from this. Where do, how do you plug it in? <laughs> so you don't. Uh, this is really all that you have to have uh -huh. to uh, get this thing working. So the, uh, the drive pipe with head yeah. pressure, uh -huh. uh, just the way it works mm -hmm. and creating that ram effect. Mm -hmm. That's all the input power you need. That's amazing. So basically ram, ram pumps, like at my, I'm gonna say it in my, the best way I understand it. A ram pump basically is pumping water using the power of the moving water from your creek or falling water from your creek. And you're, you obviously, it would be magical if you could pump all the water up. So you're actually pumping just a small portion of the water uphill and then the rest of the water is released through the system. Is that accurate? Very. Yeah. Uh, it gets technical yeah. with uh, the parameters, but uh, best estimate, about 10% is pumped. Okay. Um, so if you're looking at, and honestly, 10% mm -hmm. is like yeah. what you hope for. Yeah. More like 5% is okay. a really accurate level. So the majority of the water is going back into the creek. Oh. Yep. So what we're talking about is is moving water. We're not doing we're not setting up a system today. What we're talking about is taking a very small amount of water out of this creek. A small amount compared to the overall flow of the creek. And we're down here at the creek. It's kind of hard to tell the geography of our place in our videos, but here's the creek. The garden is way up there. So the garden, I'm I'm guessing just looking at it that we have 30 feet, maybe 40 from here to the top of the garden. And so <clears throat> What we're talking about is using a ram pump to move water from down here to up there using no energy. It's pretty, honestly, it's pretty amazing technology. And what's even better is it's 24 seven. Yeah. It's all the time you've got fresh water up there. Um, so we're talking about doing this in the future. Honestly, we don't use a lot of water in our garden, but if we had that tank up there, we could then water our animals in the summer. We could water, say a rotational grazing setup, which has been, is kind of one challenge of rotational grazing. If you're interested in learning a lot more about ram pumps, check out Seth's channel. Um, I think I would say, he, I think his pumps have a good reputation. Wrangler Star, who's a YouTuber, many of y'all will know, and pretty picky, I would say, or critical. Oh, he's, he's critical in a positive way. Um, he's bought land house pumps, or pump? He has, he has one. Oh, he has one. Yep. Um, and really liked it. We're also going to do, we're also going to actually do a more detailed video, which will be on Patreon for people who kind of want to dig down and just learn um, some more, more details. These are a lot of the questions I'm asking specifically about our setup out here, um, like a, the equipment I need and stuff to set up a system like this. Anyway, thank you so much for coming out. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Well, that was fun. I hope you learned something from that. Make sure to check out Seth's channel. Um, Got a lot of great info. He also does, he also vlogs as well. We're about to head over to some friend's house for a little cookout, friends we haven't seen for a long time. So that's pretty exciting. Got the baby and we're on the go. We're up on this beautiful ridge way up above everything and it's like a silva pasture forest pasture one of my favorite environments well i'm gonna call this it we'll catch some of those views on the way down this has been another great day in the homestead i appreciate y'all joining us in this video